Mon Geek just sent me the Fun 60 Max keyboard and in today's video I'll be unboxing it and testing out this keyboard to see if it really is the budget Wooting 60 HE. So let's get straight into it, starting off with the unboxing. So now here is the keyboard, it's got a really nice front design, it's their logos at the top left. It says monsgeek.com in the middle bottom, mechanical keyboard since it's a mechanical keyboard. In that, the back it has like a transparent version of the keyboard with the, without the RGB on. So let me quickly get it open. So right here is the actual box that does say Mons Geek right there. And you press the, you pull this down and it's just pretty easy to open and it's got a pretty good unboxing so far. Right here is like, I don't even know what this is, it's like a plastic keyboard layout thing. And then right here is definitely the keyboard, but we'll put that to the side for a second. Here is like this instruction manual and I think this is a sticker something like that i'm not actually sure yet um right here is the keyboard it comes in that little paper bag thing and yeah this like did you guys just hear that that sounds actually insane all right on the back it has these little feet which can hold the keyboard up a bit if you guys do like that it has Mac, USB and Windows input and it says on there the Fun60 Max. There is a ton of different versions. Right here you can see the letters on, on the actual keycaps. It's on like the bottom, the side of the keycap, which is something most keyboards don't do. But let's quickly unbox this. There is a USB dongle in there. There is also this U... I don't even know what the left side one is, but the USB 3.01 something else a keycap puller for just pulling out your keycaps and it says one geeks on the box mon's geek on the box right there right here is the keyboard and that's a little sound test for you and here i'm just going to show you the keycaps again like it's like on the side of the the front side of the keycap is very weird i've never really seen that and right on the bottom right is the mon's geek logo so yeah quickly pull off one of the keycaps to show you the switches so i've not seen the switches myself yet oh it's like a green color never seen that usually it's red but i think these are magnetic switches with a 0 0.01 millisecond rt for superior gaming it says so that's actually really nice so w's so now let me show you how to download the software and what's inside of it so what you're gonna do is when you go into the monks geek website press and support press download once you've done that, it'll take you to this page where there's a bunch of driver downloads. And when, if you're on Mac, press on a Mac one. If I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna press on the Windows. Right there, it'll say your keyboard. Once you say, when you found it, you press download, and that's you done. Once you're here, you open the Monkey driver. Once you've installed it, you'll search for a device, which is the one connected to your laptop or PC. And right here, since you are now on the Monkey app. You, there's a bunch of settings, macros, combination, media, mouse, all of these stuff. And the main stuff you can do on this web, on this app, is magnetic switches, actuation points, and all this. So if you go here, it just talks about a bunch of combinations of keys. Right here is the macro settings. Here is the lighting settings. So there's a ton when I press here. This is the always on, so like the usual RGB one. You press share there's this light where it just shows a bunch of keyboards i'm actually not sure what this one exactly does but here's the custom actuation point this is the place where it competes with the wooten 60 he if you put this to the lowest it will make you be able to press your key way faster than most people could and some people say it's cheating but i think it's just a really good thing to have in your keyboard and that's basically it there's a bunch of keybind things in here and that's about it so yeah that's the main thing done so now I'm gonna get into gameplay on creative, so let's go to get into that. Alright, so I just logged on to Fortnite with the new keyboard and it actually feels super smooth for smooth because the actuation point. Because like you can set it down to like the fastest you can ever click on it. But I'm not used to how small this keyboard is because I usually play with the TKL keyboard. But like this is super smooth. Like when I press down, I don't even need to press down the full key for it to actually register, which I did have to do with my old keyboard. And this is actually really, really good. Not only do the lights on the keyboard look super good, so does the entire actual keyboard feels good. 
as well as their uh, app. The app is really easy to use, although there is a better app which Steel Series uses. I do think that one is a better one, but wow, this feels actually insane. Alright, I'm gonna have to go do an ASMR for you guys so you guys can hear this keyboard while I play the game of rank. So, yeah, let's get into that. Overall this keyboard was actually insane, I didn't expect to pull out a like 10 kill 9th but yeah, it feels like I have zero delay on the keyboard and it was all thanks to Mon Geek. so thanks for them to sponsor in this video otherwise this video wouldn't have been possible. So once again thanks to them and the link for this keyboard will be down in the description, peace.